Hey, Forge FC fans, it's your digital host, Louis V, checking in, and we are still waiting for Forge to return to training, so we wanted to highlight some uh, Forge fans as we wait uh, for Forge to, of course, go for the three-peat, three-in-a-row uh, Canadian Premier League titles. And uh, we got a fan here. I'm going to say to call you a super fan, eh, John? Uh, no, I think I'm just a regular Forge fan, to be quite honest. <laughs> I I think th these several jerseys in the picture right now might tell a different story. John Chorko, uh, it's great to see you, and it's great to highlight your uh, your fandom here uh, for Forge FC. What, what was the first moment you, you realized that, hey, there's there's something special with this group? Oh, something special with the group. I, actually, it was all about my son. That was the big thing. It was um, the inaugural day. We went up there, and he was so excited to be there. And I've never seen him excited unless it was a PlayStation game or something like that. So, like, actually seeing something live, and he was really into it, right? So I was, uh, you know, we went in there, you know, like, hopes up high and everything else, and game was okay. You know, like, it was, it was a good, well-fought game. It was cold. It was cold as heck, but, you know, he really enjoyed it. Um, but uh, I think, I think the, uh, the big kicker was that Zach and I went to, uh, we had a choice, uh, he had a, like a weekend of soccer. So we went to uh, Toronto to watch TFC and then Forge on the Sunday and he loved Forge. He absolutely loved it. You know, so we, we are now, we're just all Forge and just this team is just incredible from top to bottom. It just feels like home. It just like, I love being on the ground floor and sky's the limit with these guys. Yeah, well, well said. And, and you've got an interesting, uh, You've done something interesting the last couple of years with Forge and the way they've, uh, you've, the way you've celebrated them winning. Uh, we know about the, uh, the of course, the, uh, the North Star Shield that they get, but you've yep. created your own sort of uh, recog recognition of, of the accomplishments. Tell us a little bit about these belts that you've created. Oh, these belts. Uh, it was actually kind of funny because it all started off with the, uh, the challenge after Forge won uh the inaugural season and everyone was where i was lifting the plates and that was uh, there was it was trending on twitter and everything else and i'm looking at it going this is absolutely fantastic but this doesn't uh, this doesn't encompass everything that forge accomplished in one hell of a season and uh, i was trying to think of something that uh can actually uh you could put the rosters on you could put all the accomplishments on and everything and then it just came to mind that how about a heavyweight championship belt so had a belt made up, but it was actually funny because I contacted Forge. Uh, I believe, uh, actually, I'm not. Rem I don't remember exactly who I contacted, but uh, there was this one beautiful picture um, on uh, the Forge website of Tim Hortons Field, right? And I really wanted a high resolution picture of this, but it, it, like I actually had to convince everyone that I'm going to do something really nice with the picture. So like I thought that was really funny because they were kind of hesitant to give it to me. So, anyways. What I did, there we go. Wow. It's, there we go. Actually, that turned out really nice. Uh, this camera's really picking it up nicely. <laughs> so, I mean, go right there. so you have the Tim Hortons field there. You got the Canadian Premier Championship, so, you know, forever first, obviously. So, and I added a, little, a couple little of my own trinkets in here. If, if, if anyone's been to the Ford shop and all the, you know, like the key. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, just incredible. Obviously, when you look at it, the amount of detail that you that you've put into this, and like, were you were you a wrestling fan? Were you a boxing fan? Like, I have to real like yeah. belts. Yeah. Like, was belts kind of your first choice? Were you always thinking belt when people were lifting their 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 plates, their shields? Well, well, actually, it's funny because I used to wrestle about twenty years ago, and I used to have you know, I used to hold on to belts and everything else, right? So like, uh, I was with a couple of wrestling organizations back in the nineties. And that's when it popped in my head where I can actually put everything that Forge accomplished onto one belt. So it just became natural and uh, had to find a, uh, a company that did it, found one, we worked on it, we got the, uh, got the logos in there, got the information in there. So like, as you can see, the, the two side plates here has the entire roster, <laughs> the entire championship roster, the coaching, obviously our caretaker, our beloved caretaker, Bob Young, and then on the ends, we have our accomplishments in CONCACAF League. Wow. We have our forever first, uh, forever first goal, uh, golden boot winner, with Mr. Borges himself, most valuable player, best uh, Canadian under 21. Obviously, it was, it was a Borges year, right? It so, was. It was. It was a Borges yeah. year. It was a Becker year last year. I know you got another one, and I know you got a YouTube oh, yeah. page. People can uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Even go so, check out. So where – because I, I, you know, I'll, let you, I'll, let, I'll direct people to your website for the second one or the YouTube page. Because uh, yep. you did have a new one for the island games as well, and you have it there here, eh? 
And there it is right there. Nice. And that's the Island Games. Now, now, there wasn't supposed to be a second belt. Uh, but because of COVID and because of how special the Island Games was, and we did not bail on a season, and that's and this, so so this belt is more of a, not so much more like a celebration of Forge just winning it, but I think this is all, all of like a, a complete CPL ownership, the the players, everyone that was involved in the bubble and everything else. Forty five days away from family, friends. That, what what a sacrifice. You know, so, so this is more of like, even though, yes, Forge won, <laughs> which yeah. is exactly what we wanted to happen. But like at the end of the day, this is more of a celebration of the entire league, you know, like having, like getting a season in, you know. So, and then, uh, then of course, our CONCACAF league, you know, going to El Salvador, going to Panama, you know, like, like really rocking down there again in a bubble, you know, during pandemic times. Yeah. You know, I mean, so like it, it's, it, 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 I, I'm, I'm obviously uh, positioned uniquely here to, to comment on, on the Island games. And, and it's, it's, it is, it is funny hearing it back, hearing you kind of explain it back, what, what went down, you know, in PEI. And I look around and like, just, you know, within reaching distance here, I got my, uh, my Island games hoodie. Yeah, I got yeah, my yeah. Island games, my Island games hat right here, some confetti, a seashell from PEI. So it is funny to see, uh, you know, you kind of celebrated in, in your way. You know, we all have our each kind of like mementos from uh, from from those dip, those moments and from last year and from 2020. We're gonna hold on to. Uh, obviously, there's been lots of great soccer to talk about, but let's just talk about your excitement level. I'm getting to see the guys back on the field in uh, 2021 at Tim Hortons Field. Have you have you woken up from that dream? Have you have you woken up in sweats at three in the morning? Oh my God, I can't wait to be at Tim Hortons Field. Like, what what are you feeling right now? Oh, it's actually quite funny because, like, like I'm dying for it. I really am. Like, the, the only footy that we can actually sink our teeth into right now is what's happening out in Europe right now. But I, I want to see our boys. I want to be back at Tim Hortons Field. I want to be at the concession stands eating the, like, the, the top-notch food. I want to drink the $5 beers. I want to be <laughs> singing with the, the battalion. I, I Just counting it down. Like, like I've, I'm going through withdrawal. I'm sure, like – all the Forge fans are going through withdrawal. And I, I know I've talked to a bunch of them and it's just, um, oh, we're just, we're just chomping at the bit. We, we, we want to fill up Tim Horton's field. We want to make it loud. We want to rock and we want to just, you know, put our footprint on 2021. And with Borges back and Balboe and Sabak and Becker and, and everyone, it's, it's, can you imagine what we could do in CONCACAF League this year? Oh, it's, that's, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's what it comes down to. Uh, John, obviously a very, very fascinating guy. I know you got your YouTube page where you uh, unveil these. Give us a give us a plug. Where can uh, Forge fans find you right now? Okay, well, you know, like if you if you search uh, YouTube uh, under Knuckleheads, we're there. Um, we're going to be uh, as soon as the, uh, the games open up and we are allowed back in uh, at Tim Hortons Field. We're going to use uh, we're going to do a fan perspective of the games, not so much what's actually happened on the field, but what's actually happening in the stands. Uh, we want to talk to the people that are running concession stands. We want to talk to everybody like that. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're just chomping at the bit. We can't wait. I can't I, I wait. Did, I, yeah, I didn't hear digital host uh, in there at all, but uh, I'll let it slide. I, I will oh, find no. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my that's my. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I went to PEI. I sent you guys back some info, but yeah, or whatever. I'm not. I'm not worth that. No, I'm just giving you a hard time. Uh, John, a very very great to talk to you. I cannot wait to see you back at uh, Tim Hortons Field, man. It's great to see you. Uh, be well. It's my honor. I appreciate that. You know, like I appreciate your time, and you know, like hey. Who are we? You know who it is.